Proven oil reserves in the United States were 33.4 billion barrels of crude oil as of the end of 2013, excluding the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. The 2013 reserves represent a 75% increase in proved reserves since 2008. The Energy Information Administration estimates U.S. undiscovered, technically recoverable oil resources to be an additional 198 billion barrels. Proven Reserves U.S. proven oil reserves were 26.5 billion barrels as of 2011. The 2011 data represent a 39% increase in proved reserves since 2008, but is 32% lower than the 39 billion barrels of proven reserves in 1970, when the Supergen Prudhoe Bay field was found in Alaska. Production United States crude oil production had been declining since reaching a smaller secondary production peak in 1988. Total production of crude oil from 1970 through 2006 was 102 billion barrels, or roughly five and a half times the decline in proved reserves. Since the oil price peaked about 147 US dollars and 50 cents in summer 2008, many projects have been brought online. It takes a few years to develop an oil field. In 2012, the oil production of the USA increased by 800,000 barrels the highest ever recorded increase in one year since oil drilling began 1859. Oil-bearing shales in North Dakota and Montana are producing increasing amounts of oil. As of April 2013, U.S. crude production was at a more than 20-year high, since the shale gas and tight oil boom. Production was near 7.2 million barrels per day. Experts think that the USA could pass Saudi Arabia as the largest oil producer. The reserves to production ratio equaled 11.26 years in 2007. The ratio was 11.08 years in 1970. It hit a drop of 8.49 years in 1986 as oil pumped through the Alaska pipeline began to peak. Consumption and imports The U.S. consumption of petroleum products peaked in 2005. By 2012, consumption had declined 11% from the peak. Net imports of oil and products account for nearly half of the U.S. trade deficit. Because of declining production and increasing demand, net U.S. imports of oil and petroleum products increased from 3.16 million barrels per day in 1970 to 12.04 million barrels per day in 2007, before declining. Its largest net suppliers of petroleum products in 2007 were Canada and Mexico which supplied 2.2 and 1.3 MBBLD, respectively. As of 2011, the U.S. consumed 18.8 .8 million barrels of petroleum products per day, and imported a net 8.4 million barrels per day. The EIA reported the United States' dependence on net petroleum imports in 2011 as 45%. During 2008-2009 the USA became a net exporter of refined oil products. Before the U.S. bought gasoline, diesel and kerosene in Europe, and smaller amounts from other countries. Strategic Petroleum Reserve The United States maintains a strategic petroleum reserve at four sites on the Gulf of Mexico, with a total capacity of 727 million barrels of crude oil. The maximum total withdrawal capability from the United States Strategic Petroleum Reserve is 4.4 million barrels per day. This is roughly 32% of U.S. oil imports, or 75% of imports from OPEC. Prospective Resources Services under the U.S. Department of the Interior estimate the total volume of undiscovered, technically recoverable oil in the United States to be roughly 134 billion barrels. Over 1 million exploratory and developmental crude oil wells have already been drilled in the U.S. since 1949. The United States Geological Survey estimates undiscovered technically recoverable crude oil on shore in the United States to be 48.5 billion barrels. The last comprehensive national assessment was completed in 1995. Since 2000, the USGS has been reassessing basins of the U.S. that are considered to be priorities for oil and gas resources. Since 2000, the USGS has reassessed 22 priority basins and has plans to reassess 10 more basins. 
These 32 basins represent about 97% of the discovered and undiscovered oil and gas resources of the United States. The three areas considered to hold the most amount of oil are the coastal plain area of ANWR, the National Petroleum Reserve of Alaska, and the Bakken Formation. Equals offshore equals, the Minerals Management Service estimates the Federal Outer Continental Shelf contains between 66.6 and 115.1 billion barrels of undiscovered technically recoverable crude oil, with a mean estimate of 85.9 billion barrels. The Gulf of Mexico OCS ranks first with a mean estimate of 44.9 billion barrels, followed by Alaska OCS with 38.8 billion barrels. At $80 per barrel crude prices, the MMS estimates that 70 billion barrels are economically recoverable. As of 2008, a total of about 574 million acres of the OCS are off limits to leasing and development. The moratoria and presidential withdrawal cover about 85% of OCS area offshore the lower 48 states. The MMS estimates that the resources in OCS areas currently off limits to leasing and development total 17.8 billion barrels, mean estimate. Equals Arctic equals, in 1998, the USGS estimated that the 1002 area of the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge contains a total of between 5.7 and 16.0 billion barrels of undiscovered, technically recoverable oil, with a mean estimate of 10.4 billion barrels, of which 7.7 .7 billion barrels falls within the federal portion of the ANW or 1002 area. In May 2008 the EIA used this assessment to estimate the potential cumulative production of the 1002 area of ANWR to be a maximum of 4.3 billion barrels from 2018 to 2030. This estimate is a best-case scenario of technically recoverable oil during the area's primary production years if legislation were passed in 2008 to allow drilling. A 2002 assessment concluded that the National Petroleum Reserve Euro Alaska contains between 6.7 and 15.0 billion barrels of oil, with a mean value of 10.6 billion barrels. The quantity of undiscovered oil beneath federal lands is estimated to range between 5.9 and 13.2 bbo, with a mean value of 9.3 bbo. Most oil accumulations are expected to be of moderate size, on the order of 30 to 250 million barrels each. Large accumulations like the Prudhoe Bay oil field, are not expected to occur. The volumes of undiscovered, technically recoverable oil estimated for NPRA are similar to the volumes estimated for ANWR. However, because of differences in accumulation sizes and differences in assessment area, economically recoverable resources are different at low oil prices. But at market prices above $40 per barrel, estimates of economically recoverable oil for NPRA are similar to ANWR. Equals tight oil equals, in April 2008, the USGS released a report giving a new resource assessment of the back and formation underlying portions of Montana and North Dakota. The USGS believes that with new horizontal drilling technology there is somewhere between 3.0 and 4.5 billion barrels of undiscovered, technically recoverable oil in this 200,000 square miles formation that was initially discovered in 1951. If accurate, this reassessment would make it the largest continuous oil accumulation ever discovered in the U.S. The formation is estimated to contain significantly more, figures in excess of 150 billion barrels have been reported, but it is yet uncertain how much of this oil is recoverable using current technology. In 2011, Harold Hamm claimed that the recoverable share may reach 24 billion barrels. This would mean that Bakken contains more extractable petroleum than all other known oil fields in the country, combined. Unconventional prospective resources. Equals oil shale equals. The United States has the largest known deposits of oil shale in the world, according to the Bureau of Land Management and holds an estimated 2.175 trillion barrels of potentially recoverable oil. Oil shale does not actually contain oil, but a waxy oil precursor known as kerogen. There is no significant commercial production of oil from oil shale in the United States. Equals oil sands equals. There are significant volumes of heavy oil in the oil sands of northeast Utah. 
there has yet to be any significant production from these deposits. See also Oil Reserves, Strategic Petroleum Reserve, United States Oil Fund References